Hello everybody and welcome. This is King Gamer and thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to play Age of Civilizations 2, so let's jump straight into the video. Right, so here we are again. Um, we're starting our fourth episode as Yugoslavia. Um, we're doing well. Our country is now ranked number five, and that is actually ahead of Italy, which is number five. Now, the ranking at the moment is Germany is first. Seems as if it's mostly economic score. Then the United States, then Russia, then China, then us. I think we're going to have a border with Germany sooner or later, so I think I probably need to keep uh, in the good books with them. So I'm going to work some relations, good relations with Germany. We also want to keep friendly with Russia, but at the moment they're neutral to us, so that's okay, and we haven't got any border with them. So I think we can relax about Russia, although eventually when we form the Pact of Warsaw, ideally to recreate the historic element of it. We would probably try to get an alliance with Russia, but I don't think we're there yet. I think our priority is going to be to keep Germany sweet and Turkey sweet, because at the moment their opinion of us is minus 37. Um, and although we don't have a border with them, I think we've got to be careful. They could come by sea and cause a little bit of trouble. So I think diplomatically, um, three things I have to do. I want to peace, have a peace deal with South Africa, because it's a silly, silly war. South Africa attacked my ally Italy, so I had to get involved. But, you know, it's going to take them many turns to come here, and it's not going to cause any, any harm, really. Even if they take a province, they'll be easily uh, got back. But we're going to try. We're going to try and see if they will give us a, a peace deal, just a white peace. At the moment, Germany is at war with Russia, Sweden and Turkey. So I don't think they're going to pose much of a problem to me. I think they've got their hands full. France is taking the hit by Italy and Germany, but um, I don't care about that really. So I think my aim is going to be to improve relations with Turkey for now. So I'm going to send the diplomat there. And um, because we have quite a bit, quite a few, we've got quite a few diplomatic points, I think I'm going to do some relations improvement with Germany as well. So we've got those two covered. Now, we've got a lot, we're making a lot of money. It's nearly 6,000. I think we probably can afford to look at the budget and it would be a good idea to put a little bit towards research. Not necessarily very much because we're not going to be building lots of stuff, but maybe... I don't know, maybe 5%? Is that too much? Is that 800 gold? Yeah, I think that. And then maybe it is increased by 2 or 3% both goods and investments. Because it would be nice to see our population and our economy grow if we can. So we make that, if they go to 17 and that goes 17% and that goes to 13%. Yeah, I think that's okay. Still, still leaves us 4,000 gold per turn, which is good. We've got a huge amount of assimilation to do. Yeah, because I think our technology is quite behind here. 49, all our neighbors are 50, 52. Poland is 49 as well, but I think we need to do some research. Our stability, it is quite low um, at the moment. Yeah, the vast majority, we've got a lot of assimilation to do. So we're going to spend the next few turns um, doing some assimilation, which we won't have on the, um, on the video. In terms of strategy, we have to think what we're going to do next. We've got 44 turns before we can declare war on Romania again. Um, because diplomatically, we're recently doing well with Bulgaria and Slovakia. I think we're going to leave those alone for now. So. Um, I think we may go for Austria purely to get to the Czech Republic. So that may be the next step, but not until we've stabilized our provinces a bit. At the moment, Poland and Ukraine are at war. 
So I'm going to be watching that very carefully because um, I certainly don't want Poland. Poland seems to be doing well. I don't want Poland to get too strong. So I think at that as, long, as soon as that peace deal is reached, if I'm not involved with anybody else, I think I may have to declare war on whoever is on my border. It will be either the Ukraine or Poland. Yeah, because it's either that or going west this way. I think I may be better off coming this side um, towards Poland and Ukraine. That will allow me to get Moldova. That will be quite easy for provinces. Uh, and finally, it's Romania. So that will give me quite um, quite a good buffer there. But we will see. We will see. We have to wait and see. We have to do our simulation. Right, so we're going to roll a few turns of simulation, a few turns of assimilating provinces, and then I will be with you again when there's some action. Right, we've just we've just been notified that we've lost control of uh, the province that we had occupied in Greece, which is fine, really. Greece got their provinces back, but they're still they're still at war with Romania. They've got those two two provinces there left. Um, okay, so we're going to carry on with our assimilation. Going to try peace with South Africa again because they refused. So let's try again. Let's keep trying. Our war exhaustion at the moment is thirteen and a half percent. So really, we don't want to be using that up with silly wars in the in the distance. And the Czech Republic has insulted us. But Ukraine is improving relations with us, so that's sort of okay. I think Czech Republic is going to fall before long anyway. I think what we're going to do, we've got some armies here, which we probably can take to the border with Austria, because I think that may be our next target. So let's move those there. And then also we've got some, because some Greek troops are coming through to attack um, Romania. So I'm going to say that that's okay. I'm going to send those troops right against the border with Austria because I think the assimilation process is going well so it may not be long before we're actually able to declare war on Austria. Truce with Libya has expired. Right, it's telling me that I should offer peace to South Africa but I am doing so obviously they're not accepting maybe they want something different. Let's offer a long truce and see if that is more appealing to them. Okay. And South Africa keeps rejecting our um, peace proposals. Oh well. Now we're doing some research. We're getting some technology points, which I'm going to start putting on population and economic growth for now. So we'll keep keep going. Of peace to South Africa. Let's try a short truce now. See if that's more appealing. Right, now the peace proposal is being rejected by Italy. So I don't know whether Italy, Italy is being quite silly really. I don't know whether Italy thinks it's going to get anywhere getting their provinces, but they're not really. So we just have to wait and see. Poland is doing well with the war with Ukraine. So we'll have to watch that. Let's give a few more turns. We may have to change our plans and instead of going for Austria, go for Poland if they settle in those provinces. Yeah, Poland is, Ukraine is fighting back in some areas, but yeah, yeah, okay. I think that that may be a long war, right? Um, we're saving some money. We've got 62,000 in the bank. Our assimilation process is really going well. More or less is being, yeah, everything is being more or less stabilized. Maybe in two, three turns, there will be a couple of provinces that need doing again, but then that should be fine. So I think we're going to declare war on Austria before long. We still have, oh, we have 14 turns for Romania. And I really want to get Romania because Romania is still at war. Romania is still at war with Greece. Yes, it is. 14 turns. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It probably take 10 turns to, um, to get my troops over to Romania. So I think we'll abandon Austria for now. Let's send the troops to Romania. Because getting Romania and then subsequently Moldova is really what we're after. And we certainly want to get that before Greece gets any of the provinces. So hopefully if we can get in there first that will help. We're going to keep saving money so by the time we're there we'll probably need we'll probably have about a hundred thousand gold. 
which will be a huge amount for armies. Now the technology point, economy. Now what's diplomacy doing? Germany likes us. Turkey, oh, minus four. That's okay, that's okay. Um, Austria still the same. Oh, Czech Republic really hates us. So, and Ukraine and Poland keep going. So that's okay. Right, so how much, how many more turns before war with Romania? 12 turns. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, so they're still getting, Greece is still getting through with army. So, hmm. We really want to get in there before they do. But they're fighting, they're fighting, the, the Romanians are fighting back, so that works for me. Rob, we've got a huge amount, 124 gold. So let's spend some movement points in huge, a, a huge recruitment effort. I have to make that attack really overwhelming. I think Greece is sending quite small armies, so that's not causing much of an impact. Right, we've got 8,000, nearly 8,000 troops landing in Mozda. Right, that's going to be a problem. So let's recruit around it, everything we can. Well, we've got them more or less contained. Maybe we need to get some here, but no movement points. Let me try one last round of peace, see if Italy doesn't block it. Oh, excellent. So we got peace just before they landed. Right, so we really want to get Romania and we want Greece to be out. So I don't think there are any troops coming at the moment. So let's hope that they can eliminate those Greek troops there. Yes, I think they're doing well. Okay, and this is where this one to, we're going to go. So yeah, let's, let's do that now. Going to declare war. Hopefully we'll take that province. And that one, we've got everything there. Keep recruiting. We've got a big army here, which we're going to split. About 5,000 there and the rest down here. Right, so let's see how we get on. Yeah, we stopped Greece coming in, so that's okay. Yeah, this will be a quick war, I think. Those go to that province. Yeah, I think this is over in this turn. But we'll get this here in position. Just to amalgamate some armies. And hopefully we'll be done now. We've got another technology point, which we'll put into population now. Right, so let's see how we get on. Right, sorry Romania, but that is the end. Now we're going to be integrated into our country. So peace negotiations, we're going to take it all. I think we can take it all. Yes, we can. Then the demands. And we've got peace. Now we've got some more assimilation to do, so let's carry on. Because we've got the money. Now I'm very tempted, because I've got all my troops there. Ukraine is doing well with Poland and Belarus has invaded Poland. So I think that Poland is going to be in a little bit of trouble. I think I'm going to get Moldova first because if we want to get Ukraine when they're still in the middle of war with Poland, uh, that will be the way to do it, just to clear, clear that front. Let's get our troops in pos into position and assimilate a little bit more. We're making relatively good money. Now we have a lot of troops down here that we build for that potential attack. So I think let's send everybody into one army. Now do I need to worry about diplomacy at the moment? Germany sort of okay, Russia sort of okay, Turkey likes us, Czech Republic really hates us, Austria's become neutral. You know I think we can do we can do the Eastern Front first. Bulgaria I don't worry too much about it. Well, mind you, it would be quite nice to tidy up that front. Um, now let's do Moldova and Ukraine first. Right, we haven't got a lot of money. 
but we've more or less finished our assimilation. Got those 10,000 troops, which you know I want, I'm going to send to Vienna, because we may have to deal with them before long. Um, Poland's fighting back again, they're really unstoppable, so let's declare war on Moldova. Sorry, Moldova, they do like us, plus seven, but you're part of our plan. We to send those there to defend those 16,000 there, and then these two. This will be a really, really quick war, really, because they don't stand a chance with this size of armies. Yeah. That's okay, that's okay. And hopefully now we will we will take the capital and we will take that province. Okay, so that's all gone well. So we've got a hundred percent. So we've got our provinces that we're going to annex. Now the question is. Do we do? I don't think I'm going to get involved in that conflict here. We've got Belarus, Poland and Ukraine all fighting each other. I'm going to consolidate here first and do some assimilation. So let's send the troops all the way back again to the um, Austrian border. Yeah, I think that's fine. And then we'll keep, we'll keep assimilating in the meantime. We're still making good profit despite all the um, extra troops that we have. But we're still assimilating. Um, we've got another technology point. Keep working. It's to military upkeep now, just to make sure that income remains strong. And the troops are probably about four or five turns away. Right, now Poland is suffering. Ooh. Mmm. That changes things slightly. Now Germany doesn't like us anymore. Minus 20, that is a concern. Turkey is okay now. So we're going to improve our relations with them, with Germany. Come on, Angela. I'm going to send a diplomat there. Oh, they've insulted us. Oh, the shame, 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 shame. Right, so we, I think with the insult from Germany, I think I'm not going to go into Austria. No, I'm not going to go into Austria because that will give me a border with Germany, a border with Czech Republic. They're, they're both hostile to me. I think I'd rather go Ukraine because they're now going well. So we really want to give Poland a chance to fight Belarus back. So yes, yes, I think we need to send some troops. Right, we've just received a call to arms from Italy, a war against Sweden. Now Sweden is at war and Sweden was the aggressor. Sweden attacked Italy or declared war on Italy. Oh, but yeah, but they're very weakened against Germany. So you know what? I think that's not a threat to Italy. I think I'm going to deny that. I'm sorry, Italy. We still have very good relations with them, so even if we upset them a little bit, I'm going to say no. I think the chances of getting any problems from Sweden is really, really small, but I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it. Now let's keep assimilating. Right. Poland is going to be, is being really crushed. So I think let's send our troops back to the, back to the Ukrainian border. And you know what we're going to make? We need one, two, three, four, five, six big armies. We're going to have to recruit over here because it's where we have the highest stability. So let's do everything we can. So we keep recruiting. We really want big armies if we can. But our treasure is really not allowing us. Now I think I'm going to take a loan just to allow me to build one army quickly so i don't want ukraine to recover too quickly so that will give me twenty-five thousand gold that is a lot that is a lot so we'll be able to recruit a huge amount hopefully that and that let's move our armies into position let's join these two still making a profit so we may be able to um recruit some more nearer the time 
Now, what can we improve diplomacy with? Um, no, 12 turns before we can improve diplomacy with Germany. Ukraine has become quite hostile at the moment, minus 29. And I think they've peaced, they've made peace with Poland. So I think we really need to get, really need to get going. Let's spread our armies. I don't think we've got enough for big armies in every province. If we can have 5,000 in, um, in every province, roughly, then we'll send that one here and this one here. I'm going to split that in armies of roughly, if we send there about 8,000, that means we'll leave about 5,000 behind. We may have to, can we recruit a few there? We can recruit a few, not very many unfortunately, but um, let's do what we can. And we're going to send 4,000 there. Uh, we've got a technology point. So we're going to put into the economic growth again. Still making a bit of a profit. Right, so I think I think we've got our troops in position. I think this is where we're going to um, declare war. Diplomatically, they really don't like us. And we still can improve relations with Germany. But I think Ukraine... Sorry, we can't have you hostile and getting so big so we're going to try and take as many provinces as we can in the first turn we need to get them weak it's going to amalgamate into i think it's going to go there to defend actually and then this one will go there i think these two armies will take this province um, and this army um, you know I'm going to send it there to defend with those ones and maybe try do I need to try shall I try my luck we say 500 five six hundred each one of those provinces it can be everywhere so that may work Okay, let's see. That went well. That went well. That went well. That went well. Bigger army, but still. Yeah, those that those two provinces were unoccupied, and so was that one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we've got that big army. Really, we want to bring it here to the front. And again, we want to um, want to head for the capital if we can. So let's um, move that one there. And we're going to keep trying. Um, well, let's do the big armies first. I think we're going to send one to the new conquered lands because I don't think they'll take very. They won't have many armies, I don't think. Um, and that one I'm going to send here. This one's going to take this army. This one's going to take this army. That's going to go there to defend. And we've got the smaller armies, which I think we can still do it. Um, let's send that one there. This one we're going to split. Just for a bit of luck, the 300 to each one of those two provinces, and that goes there. We've got a big army here, so I think that will be able to help. Right, so, yeah, we're doing well, doing well, doing well. Yeah, taking the provinces. Oh, that's a shame, that's such a shame. Anyway, it's only a hundred, a hundred there, so that 9,000 troop will take it. So I think I'm going to send the big army there. Now, let's just keep trying here. I don't think they'll have very many. They can't really recruit very much in those new conquered places. Um, to keep going. And to keep going, the stays defending at the back. 
The provinces seem to be quite easy to defend, so I'm going to send those ones here. This one's here. This, um, I was going to try and take the capital, although I think that's going to be a little bit hit and miss. Um, we're going to take this province, and you know what, I'm going to just try my luck, why not? Maybe 150 each one of those. It's a worry that they may be able to break through. But if we can get Crimea out of the way, that will give us a nice front. Okay, so let's try again. So that's okay, that's going well. I think their ability to build troops is going to be really weakened. Ah, oh, what a pity, 18. 18 troops left. Right, so I'm going to send... Um, I'm going to send 6,000 here. The rest is going to keep coming north here. This will keep going. Actually, let's try and kill it. Half and half. Right, let's try and finish with the big armies for now. Um, now, I think, what do I think? Um, I'm going to send just a few there just to test the water, see how much they've got there. The majority are going to stay in that province. I think this army is going to head this way, just in case they've got armies there from the war. Um, let's keep going there to defend. Can take that province. It goes into Crimea, so good luck. Um, we'll keep splitting the armies to try and cover as many provinces as we can. Uh, and no more moving points. Okay, that's okay. Right, so let's see what happens. Yeah, that got that one and that one. We get those provinces in the north and there's nearly oh twelve thousand. Right, we need to make sure we've got a thousand there to contend with. But in the east I think Oh just a few there. Oh that's a shame. That may just cause a little bit of hassle. Now I'm going to hope that there's nothing in Crimea, so I'm going to just split that in very small scouts. Um, right, that's going to go there. And this is going to maybe try to defend. Maybe I'll try to get them there. I may get them before before they move, I don't know. Um, Right, so let's keep going, keep going. Got big army still that haven't even started to fight. Right, what do I do? I think you had a hundred and something there. Let's try and kill the stack if we can with that one and that one. Yeah, let's see what... Oh, we lost that province. Oh, we defend it there. Oh, they moved before we did. Right, so we got those there. 
think all those provinces are falling. And we've got those 15 to worry about. Um, hopefully I will catch them before long. Right. These ones I'm going to split in two to defend those two provinces. Although I don't think those 15 troops are going to cause much of an issue. We are going to make those back in there. Um, they can keep moving east. Right, so that one is going to go there with the 8,000 behind. Um, I'm going to try and kill that with maybe 50. There are only 15 there, so 50 troops go there and the other two will take those two provinces. And we've got an army here that can keep moving forward. What we can do... Right, so let's roll. Yeah, got those, got those. Got them before they moved. Those two provinces are empty. And that was empty. I think the war is practically over, really. It's only two turns away. Um, because the Eastern Front is just here. So I think that is... Let's move the troops into position. Let's try and get that province. I don't think they'll have anybody there, but hoping those two troops will be enough and to get these troops amalgamating now into one. And we've got these two troops here as well that need to amalgamate. And um, right, so let's go. Yeah, we got that province again. We got them. Right, so one more turn, and we'll have. 100%. So I'm going to re reunite those two. Right, so we've got 100% war score against Ukraine. What's the diplomacy like? Belarus, okay. Austria like, uh, sorry, Russia likes us. Russia likes us. That is really, really good news. Germany doesn't, but I can improve relations now. So I'm going to improve quickly. And we're going to sue for peace. Now, what do we want? I'm going to leave those lands with Ukraine because they, they are still being stabilized. So we want to try and get, let's see if we can get those ones in the east. See how much we can get. It would be nice to get a front that's easy to defend. Yes, I think that is okay. Yeah, I think that's okay. And we've got just that little bit of front. We've got another uh, one province. But no, there's nothing we can do. I suppose we could we could lose a three and gain a four. So take lose that and get that one instead. Um we want that. Now we need one, two, three, four, five, six. Easier to defend that way. I think I'm going, to, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. No, I'm going to be bold. I'm going to get that four. Get the maximum. I may as well. Send the demands. And I think we're going to send our troops back to the Austrian border. Because that's where they belong, really. I don't trans Austria. Right, so we've got peace with Ukraine. Diplomatically. Okay, okay. Turkey likes us. Russia likes us. Germany doesn't, but I'm not going to be too concerned about that for the time being. Would Russia give me an alliance? No, why not? Oh, the thing we're at war. Let's, let's roll another turn. Putin, would you give me an alliance? Because we've got an ally, Italy, and they don't, they're don't they not friendly with Italy. I think they don't want an alliance because of that. I think I'm going to improve relations with them because I want to keep them sweet. And I think my alliance with Italy is going to is going to end 
before long, I think. Right, we have repaid our loans. So we, and the assimilation process is going well. We're going carefully, just um, 25 turns at a time, but we're making good progress. Right, Slovakia has just invaded Austria. Are they still at war? They're at war with Switzerland. And they've got a truce with Austria. That means we have to take Slovakia next. That means we need to take Slovakia next. Because otherwise we won't be able to get to the Czech Republic. But it should be relatively easy. Let's get our armies in place. Still have all those armies scattered around here. Oh no, they are Russia. And they really like us. Now Russia, why don't you give me an alliance? Oh, that's getting better. The allies are still the issue, but we're getting much closer. Maybe. We won't have to break the alliance with Italy to get the alliance with Russia. Bulgaria has insulted us. Okay, technology point. Let's do economy, right, and now Switzerland is really beating up Slova Slovakia, so, right, so I'm going to get, I think I'm going to have to get Switzerland, yeah, I think we have to get Switzerland, yeah, I think that Slovakia has got owned, yeah, so I think Switzerland, oh, They've peaced out. Are they a vassal? Maybe they vassalized them. Yeah, they vassalized them. Um, so now we have to fight them both. Right, armies are nearly in place. Going to recruit a few more here just to protect. And I don't trust because they've got access through Austria. So I'm going to cover those provinces as well. I've got the money and the movement points. Now before we declare war, let's finish with the assimilation. Right, diplomatically, ooh, Germany is very, very angry. Is very, very angry. Am I improving relations with them? Yes, I am improving relations with them, but it's not getting better. I think we're better I think we're going to wait. Germany is friendly with Slovakia and Switzerland. I think, and Ukraine, so I think declaring war to them may upset them. They're hostile to Belarus. Okay guys, we will leave it here. If you have enjoyed this video, please make sure that you like, subscribe and comment. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye!